Hey all, welcome to Share Trek. This is Raj here, and um, today I want to talk about uh, what I found when I investigated the sharp fall in Verve stock on Monday. I read up on their data presentation from their Heart One trial that they published on 12th of November in Philadelphia, and I think it has got something to do with the drop. So uh, I'll keep the video short. Please watch it till the end and let me know what you think. That said, let's get started. Welcome back, friends. The Heart One trial evaluated the efficacy, safety, and tolerability of Verve 101, uh, an in vivo liver uh, gene editing treatment for patients with HEFH. The study demonstrated dose dependent reduction in blood PCSK9 protein levels and LDLC one month after treatment. The safety profile supported continued development with well, uh, well tolerated um, uh, performance at low doses and manageable adverse events at higher doses. Two serious adverse events occurred, including a fatal cardiac arrest and a myocardial infraction. Uh, both were determined to be either unrelated or potentially related to the treatment. The positive data from the trial led to the continuation of enrollment and plans for expansion into US. And you would note that earlier, they were still uh, waiting for the nod from FDA, which has now happened. Uh, Ritu Thamman, a cardiologist at the University of Pittsburgh, highlights the groundbreaking nature of this achievement by saying it's a tremendous scientific milestone because it is the first time that they have been able to show that a single base pair of DNA editing using CRISPR technology in humans has had a clinical effect. From the clinical point of view, it has the potential to open a new way of treating coronary artery disease that could involve people receiving a once-and-done treatment rather than taking daily pills. Also, the Heart One trial is currently enrolling patients in the United Kingdom and New Zealand at 0.45 mg per kilo and uh, 0.6 mg per kilo cohorts uh, with FDA clearance for Verve 101. Verve intends to open US sites Plans for 2024 include selecting a single dose from the dose escalation phase, initiating an expansion cohort, and uh, completing it with uh, uh, for the HEART1 trial. Uh, in the first half of 2024, a phase one clinical trial for VERB 102, a similar in vivo based editing medicine uh, targeting PCSK9 will be initiated. After completing both HEART1 and VERB 102 trials, VERB aims to begin a randomized placebo controlled phase two clinical trial for either VERB 101 or VERB 102 in uh, 2025. So VERB trialed the treatment in 10 people who had a life-threatening inherited disease called heterozygous familiar hypercholesteremia or HEFH, uh, which causes high LDL levels from birth. And the condition, which affects more than 3 million people in the United States and Europe, can cause premature heart attacks, sometimes even in childhood. The participants also suffered from severe advanced coronary disease and took maximum doses of lipid-lowering tablets, such as statins. Before receiving VERB 101, the study participants had an average LDL level of 193 milligram slash DL. After uh, 28 days, the participants treated with either a high or low dose of VERB 101 had their PCSK9 levels reduced by up to 84%. Their LDL cholesterol levels dropped by up to 55%. As per exp experts, that drop is large compared with conventional treatments. Two serious adverse events reported on 12th November in the trial data spooked the market. And on market open Monday, 13th of November, Verve dropped sharply by almost 40%, falling from $15.68 to $9.33. And on 14th, it notched a modest gain after taking into account the fact that FDA has allowed the trial to progress without any changes. However, it seems the market is still very skittish. Uh, so we have to watch how it goes. And I'm thinking that uh, this was a very opportune moment to drop this data uh, because uh, overall the market is optimistic and every uh, all shares are moving up. If this had come maybe uh, three or four weeks ago, then I think Verve shares would have suffered much more significantly. Now the market has already registered it, it's digesting it, and it seems that we're going to come out of the funk again thanks to the animal spirits in the market, low inflation, uh, dovish uh, fed, all those things put together. I think we are on the upward march again. So hopefully 
Verve will be able to survive this. But again, it takes a long time for Verve to come up with a monetized product. So that is going to be risk in this uh, stock going forward, in my personal opinion, uh, because of those two fatalities where it is not absolutely clear whether it was due to the uh, therapy or due to other reasons. So we'll have to uh, watch this space carefully and um, uh, see what happens going forward. So that, my friends, is the story of Verve, why Verve dropped sharply on the uh, 13th and then it has picked up again today. And uh, I'm very keen to uh, hear from you. Do you have Verve in your portfolio and what are your plans for Verve? And what do you think about what I had to say about Verve? Please put it in the comment. Uh, it helps me also understand where you're coming from and get a diverse perspective from the marketplace. Thanks and have a great day. Bye for now.